So in this video we are going to look at how you would extract road network from uh, satellite imagery. For this we will be using Cressy algorithm, CT scale road extraction from satellite imagery which was the outcome of Spacenet 5 challenge and the code is hosted on this repository cosmic u slash Cressy. So the winning solution is presented here so and uh, we, they also have a docker image to reproduce the example or to reproduce the extraction uh, the results. So what we would do is we would not be using this docker image because I I could not build the docker image because of the dependency issue in python versions. So I modified the docker image the docker file here and then uh, build the image and pushed it to docker hub. So we would be using this docker image to extract the road network. Also uh, because I edited the docker file also made sure that uh, it is uh, running on python 3.8 now and uh, because of that I had to modify the code. So we would be following uh, these steps, these exact steps. So most of these steps are similar to what has been laid in the original repository. Uh, only change is that we would be performing inference on 60 centimeter imagery instead of 30 and uh, there is some modification to the code. So we can also see that we would be using the pre-trained weights from the original repository to infer or extract rule network. So to begin with we would uh, first clone this repository and uh, start by pulling the docker image. So I have cloned this repository uh, by uh, pasting this command and uh, once I've cloned you can see that I also ran the program once so that is why there are two additional folders results and test imagery so what we would do now is we would follow the next step we would uh, again do docker pull image now because I've run this once it should uh, say that it already has the image and that is what it says that image is up to date and I already have the image in your case it might take some time to pull the image ok so once this is done next we can copy this command and uh, run the image so before running image we have to change the local directory to our github repository or wherever our code is uh, located and uh, just to briefly explain this command we are running the we are creating a container and uh, specifying a volume that our local repository should be mapped to a folder called opt cressy inside the container and uh, we are opening a port this is uh, just to run uh, docker jupyter uh, notebook if you want to if you don't want to specify you can remove this and then ipc host this allows for uh, reduced memory or it does not error out uh, complaining about memory issues then we are specifying the name of the container you can name it any anything you want and the finally here we have to specify whatever image we have pulled so in this case it is Aman Bagrija slash Cressy version 1 tag 1 ok so let us run this and then you can see that we are inside the container now and uh, we are inside this working directory opt Cressy and if we list it we can see all our um, folders and files in our local machine is now mapped here ok so then so now following uh, the next steps now we can start extracting the row network so for that we need test image and uh, before that I just want to say that there are two methods one is via Jupyter notebook and via shell script so here we would be following shell script you can also use Jupyter notebook everything is detailed here the, the steps to follow so here what we do is we would first set up some path and then download model weights and then the test data. So let us start by setting up the paths. So that is done and then uh, let us now make directories as well. So the next step is that we have to download model weights and we have to download the test data. So by running these two commands uh, our model weights would be saved in weightsdir and our test data would be saved in test time rodder. 
so just having a closer look as to what is there inside that you would see that we have a weights folder and inside that you would see uh, we have our weights okay and uh, similarly if we see at this directory you would see that we have one file which is quite huge and we would be using this for further analysis so now that we have downloaded our weights and uh, test imagery we can uh, go ahead and uh, perform further and uh, further pre-processing so because this image is quite large so it is uh, around 25 uh, uh, gb the single file so we would crop this to certain location and then uh, perform analysis so to do that uh, we would run this script so this script what it does is it clip clips it first and then down samples the test data so instead of running on uh, 30 centimeter imagery would be running on 60 centimeter so that is what it does so if you run this so it gives us uh, some output so what uh, essentially does is uh, it takes our input image it converts it clips it clips it and then converts to 60 centimeters so it samples it once it does that then it runs uh, this uh, python script which converts 16 bit image which is the current uh, bit size of this image to 8 bit now this is done because our training is done on 8 bit images because spacenet 3 and 5 had different uh, bits and that is why we had to convert to lower resolution lower bit resolution okay so that is what it does and then um, it is just saying that i've already run this and that is why it is keeping the file it is not processing if you want to do it again just delete these three files and then uh, run the script it would um, give you the output let me just show you the output as to how it looks so this is the final output of after pre-processing so we can see that uh, this is the image from here we have to extract the road and currently if you see the size size is 93.5 mb and if you do gdal info on this let us see what we get you could also see that uh, there are three bands in this all right and uh, pixel size if you convert this it co comes around 60 centimeter and then we have uh, this is the size okay so uh, to move ahead what we would now do is so now we have done all pre-processing uh, finally we have to uh, perform the inference so this if you run these two scripts it would start uh, predicting and extracting the road network so let us first go to this directory and then first have a look at this command so let me just copy this first uh, what this command does is it runs a shell script with uh, this parameter uh, given as input so before we start running it we have to look into what is inside this So here we see that there are four python five in fact python scripts which are being run in the shell script each has its own functionality and uh, let us look into what it does but additionally you would see that there is a json parameter which it takes as input which comes from this config slash uh, data tutorial cpu.json what uh, this essentially contains is all the configuration parameters like the path of the file um, stuff like that so this we don't have to change here because we have already set it up okay so let us see now what uh, these all these files does to to see visually what we would see we would open the jupyter notebook which is linked in the readme is that so all these steps we have followed up to step 3 and now we would go to step 4 so we would go here we have to prepare configuration but we don't have to do that it is already done so and after that we then have to run the 0 to eval script so that is what we were running here in this so what it does is when it starts running it starts predicting the road uh, the road network so here you can see that uh, we are running the uh, this script and then it gives the output finally it would show us that uh, model is successfully completed we would see how it looks uh, when we actually run it so after this and then it goes to uh, 
so here is the output of 0 to eval script so this script when you run this this is the output you would see that there is eight channels and the size of each image is 1300 by 1300 this is also something to look into because our original image size was quite large and then we have actually clipped we have actually made chips of the original image into 1300 by 1300 and then these are the channels so this is just one chip and here you would see that each channel contains uh, the speed we do not care about speed but this channel was about calculating uh, the shortest route as well so that is why if we combine all of these here you would see that we are stitching together all the small pieces like the small chips and then getting one final output so on running uh, 0 3 stitch we would get one large image and this is our test image that we were that we uh, initially begin with so so after this we would skeletonize so 0 4 skeletonize this is the process so what we are now doing is we are thresholding we are setting a certain threshold and then uh, taking giving getting the output of the road network once we get that this still is uh, we get as a raster as itself and so that is why now when we do we convert to a network x object and finally we get this output so this is the final script 05 wkt to g and here you can see that we are getting the road network entire road network and also we got the nodes and edges okay so now let us uh, run this script so uh, here you can see that uh, the script start running and uh, because we are doing it on CPU it might take 15 to 20 minutes but had it been for GPU it would have taken less than a minute for this here we can see that our model has started uh, evaluating like predicting inferencing whatever you might want, want to call and uh, important thing to notice here is there are 25 images which it is predicting on so there are 25 because our entire original image this image was chopped into 25 pieces and then stitched back together so that is what it is doing here it is first making chips once it slices or makes chips then it predicts and then stitch packs together so here we can see that each image is of 1344 size three channels and the output is eight channel and uh, same shape okay so because i've already run this i'll just show you the output what the final output looks like the output i've already shown but i want to show you the the clipped images let me just so what uh, this model does is it slices it a test image into 25 image here if you see the count it is 25 images and then predicts it on each of these so if you see the prediction results and uh, our predictions are here here you would see our, all our predictions so for each image it made prediction currently it is just a black image this is because it is an eight channel image and uh, most of the time the first channel does not contain any road or uh, the speed all these eight channels are then combined together and uh, then we can see the skeleton skeleton also is not visible to us clearly but maybe we can see if we just go in yes so if we run that script this is the output we get the skeleton and then we extract this from uh, this image and the final output is in the graphs and so this is the gpickle object and then uh, you can load it to visualize so this is our final road image